The power of forgiveness is beautiful. Forgiveness clears our karmic cords. Forgiveness brings freedom. Forgiveness is this energy that actually can clear the karma, can clear all the hooks, cords, chains. It's one of the most high vibrational energies when combined with love and some other things that are is a true powerhouse. But it's something that comes at the end of healing. It's often something that doesn't come in in the first session. Forgiveness comes in after we've processed all the stuff that's there. And we can choose to heal incrementally. So this has come up and then we choose to forgive for our own freedom, for our own movement forward. But there may be more layers to forgive because sometimes there's a lot of density there. It's a process. It is a process into forgiveness. Sometimes it's really hard to forgive because it's not always safe to forgive. If we don't know how to set boundaries, if we don't know how to keep ourselves safe, if we don't know or have the tools to do that, then forgiveness is serving us because it is protecting us. And our subconscious and the programs we run and where our feelings come from is, is ultimately at the, at, the, at the base level, the subconscious is keeping us safe. So forgiving when we haven't processed everything or learned the tools to protect ourselves moving forward isn't going to be real effective. For those tools, I do recommend sometimes you do need to work with somebody. So I'm going to put that out there right now. It's a process to dig through all of the deep emotions that come into why we need to forgive everything. If it's about ourselves from self-hate, guilt, shame, to bitterness, regret, and protection energy because that person actually deeply hurts you and you're in a state of anger or other emotions to keep you safe. So there's a lot of things packed into that energy. With that said, as it comes in when it's time, it's one of the highest vibrational energies, like I said, that will clear the karma, the cords of attachment, both negative and positive. They give you freedom. They allow you to step over the bridge from where you are and have been, if it's not where you want to be, into the life that you truly want. It steps you into the divine aspect of yourself. It steps you into love and joy and peace. And it's not about the other person. Sometimes forgiveness does have reconciliation, but there is a process to get to that of what you need to be able to do that. A lot of times forgiveness is simply about saying, I'm not going to allow this anger, the hurt, the wounding, the story it told me influence me anymore and take up my space. I'm not going to allow that. I'm giving myself the freedom. I'm moving forward. Tell me if that resonates with you guys. Um, I know one of you was at our workshop that we had, Diana and I had, but not everybody has been. Forgiveness is a big topic and it's something we, people will get angry. If I were to ever say to a client, it's time to forgive and they weren't ready, they would get angry because this is something that they need to do when they're ready to do, when they've processed, when it's time and it comes in at the right time. However, forgiveness, when it's the right time, is critical for healing the heart. It's critical for healing the heart. And our heart is the part of us that connects to our divine self, that connects to our interdimensionality, that connects to our soul and the messages, that connects to our gifts, that actually is the bridge for experiencing this life grounded in our divinity. So the heart is essential and to get into the heart, we sometimes need to clear those dense energies out of the way. With that said, we're looking at this from a different perspective because I don't want you to be journaling who you need to forgive and why you need to forgive yourself. That is an exercise that we do when you're ready to do it. 
It is an exercise we could do if you had a list of people you wanted to forgive. We could actually do a forgiveness exercise and bring in the energy of um, divine to, to help you to heal that and release that when you were ready and you chose to. The more that density you release, the more that you your intuition opens, the more you embody the light that you want to embody, the more you manifest the things you want to manifest. But I was really guided that when we can see ourselves as we are, as divine beings, when we know that we're divine, then we can look from that perspective, almost a time shift, and look back at the experience and find more ways, more reasons, more allowance, more healing with peace and ease because we've already activated the part of us that can help us with that to move forward. So for instance, what I was shown, and this is something that comes up within um, soul purpose mapping, is that we are divine beings having this experience. And we are here to learn things and to grow. We're ultimately here to create. And when we learn virtues, it helps us to create even more fully. It expands our light. Um, things get even more magical. We are divine beings having this experience, but we've forgotten most of the time that, and we're living our experience. And if you imagine two sides of a bridge of where we're at and who we are as a divine being in this experience, in between is a whole lot of dissonance. There's a whole lot of pain. There's a whole lot of things we need to forgive or um, resentment or anger. It's in between in the field. And sometimes it can be really hard to see through that, that density to the light that we are. Like, And what does that mean? If we can see through to the light that we are, then we are able to connect into that heart space of this is what I deeply want. This is my path forward. Wow, these gifts are really fun to play with. Um, we, we connect into that field of energy and that awareness of kindness and being in joy with each other and that harmonious energy. When we cross that bridge, we step into that. We're still human and we're still having this experience and we still will get triggered and have stuff because we do have density in between the two. But when we can see in soul purpose mapping, we say, this is who you are. These are your gifts. Now orient to that, put your eyes to that and take action as if and move in, like move into worthiness instead of unworthiness. It's it's a shift in perspective and it actually helps you to align to manifestation better. So in this, we're actually going to be activating because within the heart is that activation of that beautiful divine space. It's who we are. It's our gifts. It's our essence. It's us wanting to write or be on this Facebook Live to share this with you guys. So it, it, who we are is that's that right there, wonder, joy, expression. So we're going to hop, skip, and jump from the point that we're at. And we know that there's density in between. And maybe or maybe not, you have awareness of who or what you want to forgive. But you haven't cycled through all the process of what that is or why. We actually have the ability, because that divine self is inside us, to go into that molecule of light of who we are and activate it, like bring in these codes of remembrance of who that is. And what it will do will shine a light in the density in between the two parts. And then it's like a boot up. It's almost in an advance connecting to the you that's already forgiven that's already remembered that you're free, that you're healed, that you're a sovereign being. It, it's letting go of those cords and it's letting go of the things that hurt us. And um, it's the part of us who knows our gifts and is our gifts and is who we came here to be. 
and is actually who speaks through us and is in us. It's that guiding force. It's that voice that says, oh, I'd really love to do that in a really heart-based way. So we're going to hop over the bridge into that point and activate those molecules of light in our heart. The remembrance, because your soul doesn't look at time the same way and it's already happened and it's already there. It's just activating the remembrance. Our heart is the multidimensional channeler of the soul. It, and it boots up every cell of our body and it connects into all of that. And when we boot up our heart, it connects to the brain and harmonizes with the brain. And then our body starts responding to that even more fully. It's a powerful moment. And when you boot up those cells of remembrance, you actually open to the frequency of compassion and strength and wisdom. And what I call, or what I was downloaded with, is called light power. It's this really beautiful energy that is power with perfect boundaries and love, with harm none, it's strong, it already knows how to say you're not going to hurt me or my children or this. I know how to navigate in this if I chose to forgive so I could move forward. Releasing that energy from the field. And then we can look back from that point. Once that's activated inside you, I'm not going to say you're not going to see from that perspective necessarily, but it's activating that the awareness of that in your body. Because sometimes things like forgiveness seem impossible. It's almost as if it's going to, it can, it can, if you choose to, flip the switch so that you standing here looking at what you need to forgive or truly heal at all, you will say to yourself or be able to say, oh, maybe that is possible. I wonder how. Or you'll find the, the um, individual who's going to help you actually to process it to get to that point or the tools that you need to do that. It just will allow it to happen with more ease for you. It's not a specific healing for what you need to forgive. It's almost just turning the light on so that you can see through that density to who you are and the healing that needs to happen. Well, if you want to touch and bring that more into the now moment, doesn't need to, I have no judgment. We all get to choose the experience that we're having. So I do recommend the power of forgiveness frees you. It frees so many karmic hooks, cords, and chains. I do recommend you step into forgiveness for you when it's safe and when you're ready. I do recommend if you need help, you get that from a counselor, from a good friend, from somebody who does energy work, because they can help you clear that. They can help you get your soul fragments back. Allow yourself to have that freedom, because in our choice, we choose to heal. But do it from a perspective looking forward towards the light of creation and what I am and who I am and what my heart deeply wants. Don't do it because other people say you have to. Don't do it because we're always looking for something else to heal. Do it because it's going to break you free from the stories. You know, forgiveness said to me, when I finally forgave, it's like I reclaim my voice. And I, because if we're in non-forgiveness, they have some of our power. They have some of it. So consider that after and look into that. Perhaps after this, you may feel called, and I'm hearing it might awaken in you, wanting to do more journal writing. Who do I need to let go to have more freedom in my own life? Or if you're in a relationship you want to stay in that's healthy, but you know that you have resentment about, what do I need to look at here? And how do I forgive? Is that possible? That is kind of after this. I heard activate the light first. When they have awareness of the light, when that is 
boot it up. It's like I hear a beam me up, Scotty. Um, it's, it makes it a lot easier. So what we're going to do is start a meditation and call in the energy to activate your, activate this energy within your heart field. Uh, we are going to also activate some virtues, which make it a lot easier to do that from that space. It happens automatically. We'll be activating the Reiki healing ball of light to bring in healing about that. And just activating those light molecules of remembrance. It's something that's happening for people anyways, though it's not any terms that I ever heard. But it is something. It's part of the heart has an eternal molecule that connects to all lifetimes. And it can become activated. And this is part of the activation. I'm hearing it can happen after it's activated or before, but it's all part of the process. There is no time. So I think the after and before are words we don't have to actually say here the point of origin we're looking at is actually not in this time construct and i know that just makes our brain go like that but it's true so if you'd like to receive this we're going to do this um i just want you to grab a drink of water get comfortable take a moment to do that i don't have all my microphone set up so i didn't bring in sound this time one of these times i'd love to bring in my bowls but so we're going, if you want this, you say yes. This is for you now and in the future. And if I ask if it's good for you to watch more than once, well, of course. Um, there is an element of bringing, un it's through unconditional love. And whenever you do that, there is a healing that happens and an activation that happens just through that. So you choose if you want to receive it. Um, if that's a yes, and if you listen to the meditation, then I do connect to the field of energy to witness this happening. I may actually witness your higher selves, and I may see some of your Akashic records. At the end of it, I will be disconnecting. I will be clearing the field. I'll be walking you through that. I will make sure that... And you will be in your own space for this. This is not everybody that comes on here. It's not like we, um, you are in your own sacred space. Each of you will be in your own sacred space. We'll be bringing that in too. So if you're ready now and you'd like to do this, hmm, there's no need for you to be aware of who or what you need to forgive or to think of any of that. This is actually about activating that light in the dark bringing in the remembrance of your light and activating those cells. So drop into your heart and take some deep breaths. And just allow yourself to sink in for just a moment. See, feel, or sense your heart field and just bring your awareness down in. And allow yourself to feel the energy of compassion. Or gratitude is another way to get here into the heart. Think of something you're grateful for or something you love. If you have a dog or a cat and it feels beautiful to hug them or love them, feel that or a grandbaby. Hmm. When you do that, you're actually booting up your heart and the neurons in your heart, activating that heart field. You're already starting the process and you're syncing your brain with your heart. Your brain actually starts to follow the heart. Your mind follows the heart. With compassion leading the way. And just bring that in and see it as a color. I always see pink, but you might see a different color. 
and just allow yourself to connect to that energy, that vibration, that frequency of compassion and gratitude and love. Allow yourself to see, feel, and experience it. Moving it in with the breath, in and out. See it and watch it fill all your cells, all parts of your body, all the way to the top of your head and to the bottom of your feet, filling all of you up with this beautiful energy. And then pushing it out into the field around you, into your auric field all the way into the room that you're in, just filling it up with this compassion energy. Mm. Compassion is the bridge to deep connection, intuition, and possibility. Now from heart center, witness as a pillar of light goes down into the center of the earth and connects to the heart of Mother Earth and a golden ball of light at the center feeling almost like energetic roots the grounding into Mother Earth Gaia connecting you into the energies and the vibrations and the frequencies of support and love, connection and possibility to pure love. Booting up your energy field with that. Then watching as that golden energy comes back up your pillar, up into your feet and your calves and your thighs, merging with the pink, moving into your heart space and a beautiful swirl of energy. Taking a deep breath and moving that up above your space all the way up through your crown and into the universe, past the moon and stars. Connecting into pure white light, divine source creator, unconditional love. And bringing that back down into your heart. Seeing that this pillar of light is a flow of energy of that gold and the pink and the white flowing from both directions and I'm actually watching as this beautiful sphere of protection the circle the sphere is pure wholeness unconditional love encompasses us all of us in protection watching as your whole field is activated with this white and this gold and this pink energy Connecting to your highest self from this field of the heart. Your highest self, your divine aspect, your I am presence, your soul. The beautiful, beautiful essence that is you in this embodiment. Connecting into it in your heart, in your field, in all parts of you. And from this space, we're going to bring in the divine fusion alignment of sacred space now. Creator of all that is and divine love and light. Create that now. Thank you. Running it. That everybody in the sacred space that's been created now or in the future at any time on this, anyone that watches the replay, that their space is a sacred space of protection for healing energies to flow. 
that Archangel Michael's blue grid of protection is activated above and below and all around, that all negative energies are cleansed from the field, going to divine light instantly. Unconditional love is instant creation. Time is a construct for us. Instantly clearing all that density. Knowing that we are in a field of protection, impervious to negative influences or control. This space is filled with unconditional divine loves and support, continuously flowing and activating in connection. We are in a safe, supportive, loving container for optimal healing. Thank you, Creator. Change it now. You might feel a lot of density leaving your field. There's been a lot of energy out there right now. You might have to take a deep breath. And from this space, asking that our guides be here, our guardian angels, any masters you connect to, archangels, divine being of light, to assist us and help us and enhance the power of the healing as is the highest and best for you, each of you individually. Create it now. Calling in the Reiki Unconditional Divine Love Healing Ball to align the field to the activation of the light molecules of remembrance. From this heart aligned space, allowing yourself to see a beautiful light, a ball of light descend in front of you. Notice what color it is. Notice how beautiful it is. This is filled with unconditional divine Reiki energy, helping us today for this expansion and growth. and watch as it expands into the whole field, this whole sacred space of protection that was created and fills all parts of you from your auric field, from head to toe, to your physical body, wrapping you in pure love energy. I'm hearing it say that if you would like a healing for anything, just say that in your head now and this energy is available for you. You just have to ask and say yes. <sighs> Filling you up with this safe, protective, beautiful energy. Calling in the activation of the light molecules of remembrance into everyone's heart their high heart, their physical heart, their energetic heart in the highest and best way. The remembrance from within the heart, from within their being. Here and in the future for any time of remembrance. Thank you, it is done as you choose to receive. If you'd like that, say yes. Oh, you may actually feel your pillar of light expand and grow with this. It's as if it brings you more into awareness of your divine aspect. As if you can see it more clearly instead of it being hidden behind the haze. Some of you may be seeing colors with this energetic activation. Activating the remembered virtues of forgiveness through creator's definition and perspective, the highest perspective in truth and love. 
compassion, strength, wisdom, light, power, truth, love, strength, the strength within love, pure expression and purity of intention, peace, discernment, and the ability to be safe in the physical experience as a divine being, that you know what all of those feel like, how to, when to, is possible to, and you do, and you have those virtues, to already have them in the highest and best way. Thank you. As you'd like to receive, it is done, it's done, it's done. You may feel your field expand a little bit. There is an expansion that happens and an opening with those virtues. Activating the heart field with the ability to see through the eyes of the healed self and all the wisdom and virtues that that brings, the healed divine aspect and the healed divine self in the highest and best way. Thank you. If you'd like to receive that, say yes. Whew. And that all the awareness moving forward that comes from this activation of your light molecules of remembrance of what it means and feels like to be from that point, healed with those virtues, that any movement forward in this life, you move or in any life moves forward with peace and a sense of understanding, the peace and ease in the highest and best way, with nurturing and compassion and understanding of that you know what that means and feels like and how to and you do as you choose to receive say yes mm. Mm. bringing in an unconditional healing of love for head to toe for everyone who would like to receive it For any density in their field they'd like to release right now. Almost seeing yourself if you choose to do this, because it will only happen for those who choose, holding your hands forward with anything you'd like to release. Mm. And bringing in that unconditional divine love to bring that healing now. Thank you. It is done. that it's activated within your field now those virtues and the light molecules of remembrance to bring gentle awareness as you choose and from this point anchoring all of this in to the center to the mother to every cell of your body to all points to your high heart and your heart and your higher mind and your mind to all aspects to your chakras and your higher chakras grounded in to the highest earth grid of pure unconditional love anchored into the divine all in the highest and best way grounded and go ahead and see a beautiful beautiful white light Rinsing you off like a shower. Mm. With your intention, you can stay in the sacred space. Truly always have sacred space around you simply because you choose to. Choice. For as long as you want. Thank you, divine beings, for he being here. Thank you for creator, for guiding us. 
Thank you, Aho and Amen. And thank you, Reiki, so much. And as you feel called, you can take a deep breath and come back into your heart, watching as you are grounded fully into the center, fully connected. You're connected at heart, with divine always flowing through from center and above, but grounded. And you can choose to open your eyes as you'd like to. Okay. How are you guys doing? I will not lie. That was a trip to watch that. That was trippy. That was awesome. So like I said, that didn't specifically focus on forgiving people. It didn't focus on that. It was actually the focus of who are you really as a divine being and activating that remembrance from within and the virtues that actually make healing a little bit easier if you choose to, but you always get choice. So this isn't a force. You get to have this journey. And like I said before, sometimes there are things that need to be done before you forgive. Sometimes there are tools that you need to learn. Sometimes there is a path to get there. I don't believe in force. I believe in it happening in the best way. Sometimes that density is there for a reason. Well, it's always there for a reason. So we always want to be doing it at the right time when we're ready. Okay, have a magical weekend. And I'm going to let you guys go. We'll talk to you later. Oh, thank you guys. You have a great day.